Okay, so this is the first demo of Mass. Mass is a program that I've written at pretty much every company I've worked at for about the last seven years, and it's always been a big hit. This time round, I've decided to open source it. I've written it completely from scratch, uh, taking into account all the limitations and problems of the previous versions, which were very specific to the company as I was working at. And this time, uh, you can import your hosts from many sources, and you can take many actions. So you can manipulate it, you can then take many actions. Um, there's all sorts of things. That's phase one. That is what is available now. So. I'm going to give you a quick demo and I'll follow up in later videos with things that other people are interested in so let me know what you're interested in seeing. So right now I'm going to show you how it works. So all I do is I type it in and then I give a regular expression to match uh, what I go minus minus list equals and then a regular expression and that gives me a massive list of all the hosts that we have. Uh, in this particular case I've selected a whole heap of development servers. Now we can do things with this. I could go and say, hey, go and download this particular file from all these hosts. Um, I could up do the inverse, I could upload. Uh, there's lots of permutations on that, so I'll leave that for another video. I can open up, uh, I'm going to make this a little more specific here, so we just do a couple of hosts. So there we have just a couple. Um, ah, give me a sec, we'll pause the video. Okay, while I was uh, doing my practice for the video, I tested out a feature which isn't currently working on this computer, but is working on my laptop, so I need to fix that at some point. Uh, but anyway, I've just restricted it just down to a couple of hosts, just so I don't window bomb myself. But effectively, what I do here is if I put in minus minus term, then suddenly now I've got a terminal to each of the hosts that matches the regular expression. So that's really good. If you're on call, this is really useful because it means you can uh, very quickly get, like you get an alert in the middle of the night, you can very quickly get on and try all these things. Okay, so. What I'm finding particularly useful at the moment is I've written a plugin which interacts with cluster SSH. Cluster SSH, if you're not familiar, is a little tool which, when you uh, you started up specifying a whole heap of hosts, and then you can type into one and it happens on every host that you've connected to. So let's just take this a step further. And we'll use back. We'll use the regular expression we had just before. There we go. So this is worth. Whoops, that's not it. There we go. So now we're using lots and lots of hosts. Um, we're using 83, 83 to be exact. So let's take that away. And now let's do this. Now you can see some of them are going to fail because I haven't got the VPN connections up. But uh, you see, there's a lot of windows. Now one of the cool things about cluster SSH is it's going to go and rearrange all these windows for me in just a moment. So when that's happening, there we go, that's starting to happen. Okay, so we've got the windows, but hey, some of them have disappeared because the VPN connections aren't up, so let's just go and retile those. That's the first time I tried using that shortcut and it didn't work for me. There we go. <coughs> So now let's go and do stuff on these terminals and you can see very quickly I am saving myself a lot of work. This video has really just scratched on just a tiny bit of what this is capable of doing. This is phase one. Phase two I'm just starting to work on now and probably it's going to be a few weeks before I start releasing that functionality but that's going to bring some really cool stuff. So now's a really good time to start playing with it because phase one is pretty mature. I'm going to stick links up in the show notes. The most important one for you right now is funnyhacks.com forward slash mass and that will get you all the information you need to get you started.